Hello and welcome to another Earth Science Podcast. I'm your host, Mr. Buss, and this podcast is going to be about what is rock and then the rock cycle. So let's start out the rock cycle by taking a look at an igneous rock. It actually happens to be basalt. Um, so the igneous rock um, formed from magma or lava uh, over time is going to experience erosion and weathering and it could, those particles from the igneous rock could become sedimentary. So now we've got our sedimentary rock, which is formed from the igneous rock, as over time sediments, uh, sand and debris formed. Um, can the sedimentary rock become metamorphic? It can, if it gets buried by a lot of sediment and experiences a lot of heat and pressure. So now we've got a metamorphic rock. Um, this rock happens to be quartzite, which is formed from the sedimentary rock sandstone. And if it gets buried deep enough under the earth, um, it could actually melt. And if it melts, then it's going to potentially once again erupt as lava as another igneous rock. So the interesting thing about the rock cycle is that it's not set yet. Everything is kind of reversible and changeable. For example, sedimentary rock can experience weathering and erosion and become a new sedimentary rock. Igneous rocks can remelt. Metamorphic rocks can experience new heat and pressure and reform as well. Likewise, sedimentary rocks could experience melting and metamorphic rocks could experience weathering and erosion. And igneous rocks can also experience heat and pressure. So really what you have is this whole system where one type of rock can become really any other type of rock depending on what type of stress it uh, experiences. If it experiences weathering and erosion, whether it ex experiences heat, pressure, or melting. <laughs>